Hey, this is James Kettle from Potswigger, and I just wanted to show off a cool new feature that I've just added to Turbo Intruder. So, in this window here, you can see I've run a folder brute force attack on Portswigger.net, and we've sent a few thousand requests. So, the challenge now is to find the interesting results like what files has it found, what folders, what other kind of weird behavior, and maybe like front end server mappings. Have we got maybe there's different back end servers, maybe there aren't, maybe there's some interesting cache rules only on certain paths. This is all stuff that I'd love to find in this table. But doing this manually can be quite painful because there's a whole lot of responses here. There's 3000, right? And the classic approach to doing this is to sort by one column, like maybe the length, and then kind of scroll through and then sort by a different column and so on. But this approach is labor intensive and takes ages. So I've just added a super cool new feature called anomaly rank. What this does is it uses a local AI free algorithm to calculate and rank every single response for how unique that response is, how anomalous it is. So the higher the score, the, uh, the more anomalous it is. So if we hit that, we can instantly see now we've got all the interesting things at the top of our table. And the cool thing is this algorithm can spot some really subtle and interesting things. Uh, it, it's just, it just has this kind of knack for finding valuable stuff, such as the fact that we can immediately see here, if you hit slash 404, uh, then you get a 200 status code, which is quite weird. Uh, and once again, if you hit slash error, you also get a 200. And there's there's a whole bunch of really interesting things here. Uh, I'd encourage you to give it a go for yourself on one of your websites. Uh, it can spot things like all the different types of four four pages, and it just flags them. And basically, when you run an attack like this, the rare stuff is the interesting stuff. That's the stuff that you want to manually look at, and this just saves you a bunch of pain in finding those things. Also, this algorithm happens to be really good for AI, because if you give an AI two or 3,000 HP responses, that's going to blow up the context window and it won't manage to do anything useful with that whatsoever. Whereas with this, you just give it the top 20 uh, re results as dictated per the anomaly rank and great. Now it's got something that it can actually cope with and it can just focus at looking at the interesting stuff. So yeah, I hope you find this useful. Turbo Intruder will actually now sort by this column by default when the attack finishes to reduce the amount of interaction you have to, to do, as you can see here. Uh, but if you don't like that, that's fair enough. I understand that. So in the code, you can use table.setOrder and then it will automatically sort by any column that you'd rather it used. I uh, hope that's useful. Let me know how you find it. Thanks for listening.